When it comes to intros, brevity is key. Keep your intros short and engaging. It's crucial to grab the audience's attention quickly, so make it fast. Just like that. The key to a better intro is to use dynamic visuals such as quick cuts, energetic animation, and eye-catching effect, combined with uh, sound effects and music that reflects the style of your content. Remember, the goal is to create a memorable intro that leaves viewers wanting more. Without overlays and transitions, any video would be boring. So to level up the game, you need transitions and overlays, which of course you can create it by yourself, which is really time consuming, or you can use a pre-made assets, which will save you a lot of time and money. So to save some time, I use assets from AE Juice, which I can drag and drop easily. And I also have a discount if you buy from the link below. Import all your footage inside After Effects. Remember, we'll be needing a ton of footage because we are going to use just a fraction of the footage or just one second long for each clip and some in milliseconds. Remember, our goal is to make quick cuts. Speaking of quick cuts, in some cases, we'll be needing a long duration cuts and add another footage on top of that using blending modes. But make sure the video has a clean background so that the video overlays blends much better. So drag and drop and arrange all the assets inside the timeline like I said. Now that you have done arranging all the assets inside the timeline, it's the fun part. Open AE Juice Pack Manager from Windows. Select the pack that you want to use. It's just so simple. Just select the pack you want to use and you have it inside the timeline. All right, for this clip, I use the film textures. Trim it to the length of the footage. Go to the effects and presets and search for motion tile, drag and drop it and increase the output height and animate the tile center. I also added an overlay from the old film constructor pack. Just like this, you have to add a random overlays on top of all your footage. I also used my own overlays which I've created. You can download it from the links below. One more effect that you can add to your footage is chromatic aberrations. I also use a glitch overlay from the analog glitch. One more thing to keep in mind is that if you don't have text on your intros, it's not gonna be interesting. So you can use typography animations to even spice up your videos. And I've made a tutorial on text animation, which you can find it up here. Now that you have added all the overlays, it's time to create some transitions, which you can find it inside the AEG Spec Manager. And for this example, I use a light swipe transition from this. I've also added a cool transition using an invert effect, create an adjustment layer, drag and drop the invert from the effects and presets, trim the adjustment layer, and you'll have a very cool effect. All right, now that you have all the overlays, text animations and transitions. Let's add a little bit of textures using dust and scratches from the AE Juice Pack Manager. I use the old film constructor pack and drag and drop the dust and scratches overlay. It's that simple. And if you wanna make a killer intro using free overlays, you can watch this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.